Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. We're continuing in SQL. I'm going to teach you two new operators and how to use user input in your SQL queries. So the first operator is the is null operator. In your where clause, you can you will still add the field name and then as is null. What this will show is, if I look at this table here, if I said where tal is null, it will show me this record here. It is where a value was not completed in that field. And very simple that the is not null is going to show you the opposite of is null. So those who have values completed. Just be very careful when you're creating your own database that you don't put spaces in them because remember a computer also sees a space. So a space is not null. It is a value but then it is difficult for us to work out what went wrong because we as humans can't see that space. And here we have the very handy in operator and it can be used on any data type. So it differs from your in operator in your if statement because remember the in operator there could only use integers and chars. But in, in using in in SQL allows you to use it on any data type. So here I've used the in operator on the grade. So where grade is in and now we use round brackets for this in unlike the square brackets in our if statements. And we list our fields with a separating them with a comma. The range with that we used in the in operator and if statements with a dot dot that does not work in this in operator. So we have to list them individually. If this field here is an integer data type, there will be no quotes around the values that are listed here. So if I do use a field that is a text data type, I can now use strings in quotes you must remember to put the values in quotes and list all the values here in your round brackets and in this last one here I've added the not just to show you how we would use the not so I'm saying if the following is not true so what this statement will show me is all those records where the learner was in either grade 10 11 or 12 where the subject was either maths or IT and where they were not in a register class A, C or E. Now is your time to practice. Press pause and try this one. And then try the next menu, the in menu and see if you get the example of output below. I'm going to show you the new and missing menu but if you struggled with the previous activity here is the one under the menu most so you can have that answer too so in the new and missing statement what we needed to do was read from tbl company because register date and tell the field names were in the in the table called tbl company and we were asked to show all of those records who registered after the 1st of January 2016. So after means greater than and not greater than and equal to. As well as, so that means an or, where the telephone number was not completed. So there I'm using my is nil. Here is the memo for the in menu. And here I am looking for company IDs that are either car, 004, what 002, and INF 001. And I was also asked to sort these records by company ID first in ascending order, and then within that, sort those records according to the activity field. You will see that company ID does appear in both tables, but I know to use TBL activity in this instance in my from. Because activity, the description of the activity, sits in that table. Now we're going to allow the user to give us some input. And then our query will adapt according to what the input from the user was. So the first put is still the same and the from and the table name. 
and then after my where still the field name and if I was looking for a certain grade so I'll have an equal sign I now end my string here with the inverted comma and I add to it a plus and my variable name in Delphi you will see that this first part here will appear in blue and my variables must appear in black I've kept my grade as a string because if I had to string to int the input here I would have to int to string it there so therefore I just keep my numbers stored as strings as well we can also do the same for text data types but remember the text data type fields needed to have quotes around them so this second line here you can use using the quotes end the string plus my variable name plus start a string add the quotes end the string or instead of doing that I can use a function called quoted string and quoted string would place the quotes for me around whatever the user entered in its name for date time you just still need to remember to add your hashes as part of your hard code the code that appears in blue and add your variable that you have stored there as a string for boolean input we can use bool to string so that converts the boolean value that are stored in b paid to a string or i can also get input directly from an object like the dot check property of a checkbox and bool to string that we have a very handy little function called record count and record count will show me how many records they were for which this statement here was true it's important to first run a select before you use your record count so this record count here note I'm using query learners which is my query that I've used there I'm using query learners dot record count and that will hold the number of grade 10 learners in my table record count returns an integer data type so I am going to declare a variable as a local integer variable inum and I'm going to store the number of grade 10 learners in inum which I can use further in my program this is now your time to practice so here is still in the festival program the menu under select and then company name here's a second question under ticket cost and then here is the menu for age check note that there was a checkbox at the bottom of the form and in this instance the user clicked on this checkbox to produce this output also try the date menu I'm going to show you one memo just now here is the memo to the menu company name user got some input we used an input box and I'm displaying all the fields from this table TBL company where the name field is equal to the user's input see how I've used quoted string hope this helped you grade 11s and 12s more SQL to come. Hope to see you soon.